So we are off doing what, Grandad? What's this route called? The Kernsteri Round. And how many times have we walked this particular route? Oh, I wouldn't like to say, but I wouldn't be in this prize if it didn't do it ten or a dozen times. <laughs> <laughs> it is a beautiful, sort of easy start to um, hiking in the Highlands and some fantastic views into the mountains. We spotted deer here when we did it previous times. Beautiful views down lochs and by the river that we start walking by. So come and enjoy the walk with us. So the first part of this walk is just along a tarmac road. It's part of the estate roads for here. And a very easy walk. Ruth and Grandad are joining us for this section, then they're going back to do some cafe reconnoitering. New owners of the Bridge Cottage Cafe, one of our favourite stopping off points. So we'll see how they're shaping up compared to the previous ones. And then we're going to carry on on more traily trails into the hills. But we're already enjoying beautiful mountain views as we walk along here. We're just enjoying walking down the silver birch lined road. Grandad's been giving me a bit of a natural history lesson about how they're not the longest lasting trees, but they do rot down well and they're fantastic for all the invertebrate to munch on as it slowly rots away. But they're certainly more twisted up here than they are at home because of the winds and the, the wild weather during the winter time gives them a character that they just don't have down south. just been walking through a hedgerow of rhododendron. They're actually an invasive species and they're trying to get rid of quite a lot of them now because they just take over very quickly. But they are beautiful and the bees seem to love them too. We have just enjoyed a sweet break, haven't we, Iona? Mm -hmm. Every two miles we've decided on walks, haven't we? And then one at the end. And one at the end. If it's an odd number. Okay. Ruth and Grandad have now turned back. They're heading back to find a cafe, aren't they? Bridge cafe. Yeah, and we are heading onwards into the hills. We've just come up to Loch Kernsedi, over here on our left. We're going to be walking, not round the whole of the loch, but a fair bit of it as we enjoy this walk. We spotted the deer on our way round, just as we come towards the end of the estate road. Deer down there, and horses just over there as well. <laughs> Lovely sight as we carry on the walk. We've done about three and a half miles now of the walk, and we'll be starting to head down the other side of Loch Kernsedi in a moment. Well, the 4 by 4 trail has ended, and we're now on more of a proper hiking trail. The estate dogs are busy talking to themselves. They can bark and then their echo comes back on the mountain just over there. So <laughs> quite strange. We're having a bit of a damp walk today. It's not the driest of conditions, but it's not really wet enough to put your waterproof on. It's one of those sort of in-betweeny type weathers. So 
just get on with it basically. We've now got the mountains at the side of us and green grass underfoot. We're enjoying some proper trail at the moment. Little streams running down off the hillside, loch in the background. Bit of scrambling for Iona, she's enjoying this quite a bit. Good practice for our Munro that we're hoping to do in a few days time. We are back into the trees now. Silver birch, either side of the little stony trail that we're walking along, beautiful. Unfortunately, at the moment, just enough breeze to keep the midges at bay. It's our lunch break time, isn't it, Iona? What have yeah. you got to enjoy? Crackers and cheese. Crackers and cheese. And I have got a very tasty coronation chicken sandwich from Crumbs in Gaelock. Highly recommended if you want a sandwich or something for your walks. And cake. And what a view to enjoy our lunch to, isn't it, Iona? Yeah fabulous view over the loch. We are back on our way. We've come right down by the loch side now. You can see the view back across the loch and hear the sound of the waves gently rippling against the stones. I can tell you something. It's cold. It ain't hot. <laughs> My crazy son has decided to go for a paddle. It might be raining, it might be slightly chilly, still gone for a paddle. <sighs> Can't think where he's learned this madness from. We are just walking up away again from the loch and the vista has opened up of the mountains behind us again. Absolutely fabulous. As we crest the hill, we can see Paul Yu spread out ahead of us. The end of the walk is in sight and hopefully the cafe might still be open so we can get a coffee as well. As you descend into Paul Yu, you walk through a field of gorse. Unfortunately on the video you can't smell it but it has that sort of goldeny buttery sort of smell like toffee or coconut or I'm not quite sure but a sweet lovely smell love this smell always reminds me of Scotland when you can smell the gorse and we've arrived back into Paul U. you pop out just opposite Inveru Gardens you can see over there and the sea spread out in front of us. We've got a welcome party as well. Ruth and Grandad are here to meet us at the finish. Well, we're back in Paul U. The walk is finished, isn't it, Anna? No. Well, we've got a few metres to get back to the car, haven't we? Have you enjoyed it? And cafe. And, oh, and a cafe. Apparently the next most vital thing, as far as Grandma's concerned, is time for a coffee and a cake from somewhere. Coffee, crucially, I think. Did you enjoy the walk, Anna? Yeah. What was the best bit? The scrambly bit. Any time you got a bit scrambly was when you loved it, wasn't it? Yeah. If you want to do a great walk for a family in the Gerloch and Paul U area, highly recommend this circuit. Lovely trails, easy enough to walk on, fantastic views, definitely recommended. Anyway, plenty more adventures to happen yet up in Scotland, isn't there, Iona? Yep. So, Make sure you hit that subscribe button to join us on another little adventure soon. Bye! Bye.